Keep an eye on Tropical Storm Ernesto. It was 20 years ago right now that we were tracking a much different storm, Hurricane Charlie. You can see the video behind us. Friday the 13th. Uh, who is that young guy right there? 2004, Tom. That was you 20 years ago. And 20 pounds ago as well. <laughs> uh, let me show you the, the graphics here because this storm came ashore as a strong Cat 4. It went through rapid intensification, was a very tightly wound storm, and I call it like a, about a 20, 30 mile wide tornado that came right up I-4. It was the shift turned around the world mm, as yeah. the forecast track <laughs> Uh, had shifted uh, basically last minute. So uh, we went from what was expected to move up the west part of the state right over Orlando. Yeah, what made this so unique for us is the fact that we weren't expecting to have 100 mile an hour winds in Orlando. It hit 106. So it was again like a big tornado that came through, knocked out tr power, trees, everything. But 7 o'clock in the morning, the storm had started turning, which we recognized, and we were waiting for the Hurricane Center at 11 a.m. to shift it over here. But instead, they left it over here. It wasn't until 2 p.m. that they shifted. By then, we were already in go mode. Yeah, there was weeks of tree damage, tarps, damaged roofs. Mm. And then within six weeks <laughs> after Charlie, two more hurricanes rolled right through, almost making landfall in the same spot. Yeah, exactly three weeks apart to the hour in almost the same spot. Francis and Jean, those were much slower events, but three hurricanes. In six weeks, that was the year I discovered Red Bull. <laughs> 2004. Yeah. Carla? Uh -huh.